Monkey W Baku Crew. For this unboxing, I am taking a look at the Battle Planet Gortheon, so we are going to be reverting to Monkey just a bit. Now, unfortunately, this is a core from Battle Planet, so you don't get any box art, you just get the standard Dragonoid. Um, but on the back of the box, you do get a look at some of the Bakugan that were in this wave Heos Kubo, Darkest Faderus, Arliss Core Trino. And then a Pyrus Core Vice Rocks there. Gonna just yeet that away. Now, for the Bakugan review, it is, of course, a Gortheon. Now, the stats for Gortheon are pretty strange, but it probably was one of the original damage wins Bakugan. So, it is a double regular fist core user. B power of 200 with 7 damage, and that's why I say it's an original damage wins Bakugan. Because if you paired this with like some Might of Sindiuses, some Matt Hero cards, you know, all that good stuff, 7 damage is definitely going to get you the win um, when you're deciding B power with damage, especially for Battle Planet. You know, power creep is a thing, so. There are a few more Bakugan floating around with a higher damage than 7, uh, but for Battle Planet days, this was probably one of the only Bakugan with that high of a damage rating. I could totally be wrong, I could totally be wrong, but uh, just guessing here. So Gortheon is really cool, uh, the Ultra is my favorite, now this is the core version. Um, yeah, so really cool, the Baku core included. Of course, it is a regular fist, plus 150 B power and plus 1 damage. And then plus 100 B power and Pyrus and Chaos get plus 3 damage. So, not bad at all there. It is a core Bakugan, so it doesn't come with any cards other than that, unfortunately, just the character. But here is the Bakugan itself. So, this is core Gortheon. Really simple, it has that chonk design that the Battle Planet cores do. Um, it is, how it opens is just really neat. It is very simple as it is, like half the Bakugan's the front, half's the back, it kind of just folds out of itself. There's the detail of the whole face. Well, if I can get the camera, there we go. So for a core Bakugan, it does have a pretty decent amount of detail. You know, you can tell what it is, obviously. You have the blue. Here's the chest. And then, of course, the arms are hunched over like a typical gorilla stance that you see all the time. And then to fold it, head down, arms in, and then, of course, you just close it in. And that is Chaos Gortheon. Very simple Bakugan, you know, nothing not really anything to it there is the magnet plate right there see if I can't get it to uh, to stand well I rolled right right over what what are the chances ah there we go perfect hit so it has a decent magnet as well This is going to be a quite of a short review video, unfortunately. There's not much to Core Gortheon. Um, I just thought it would be neat to pick up. I picked it up along with my Pyrus Kelion and uh, Arliss Trino. For those of you who didn't check out those videos, I will have them linked down below. But here are the character cards for those. I don't have the figures uh, beside me at the moment, but I am kind of recording a huge amount at once so I do have all the character cards just figured I would show those off for those of you interested but here is Gortheon let me know in the comments down below was this the original damage wins Bakugan or was it on the team uh, with that seven damage I personally don't know but I would have put it on there and uh, even hits the magnet very well or was Gortheon's B power just too low even for Battle Planet? Let me know what you think. Until next time, stay safe, drum up, and Bakugan Brawl.